The ultimate morning routine is a great question. Not just a good question, it's a great question. I've just arrived here in Threadbow, Threadbow Village. Caught up with a couple of people who ski today. They were like, look, don't get your hopes up. It is classic Australian conditions, uh, which usually means ice slash water, grass. It's like, uh, okay, any snow coming? Nah, not really. But who cares? We are here. We are, have arrived. Um, I left uh, Byron Bay at around quarter to five this morning. We just got in. So on the way down, I was listening to a gentleman called Alex Homozi, who uh, broke the internet recently uh, with around something like 450,000 people watching a webinar, which is just insane. Um, so Alex wrote a book, uh, $100 million offers, and then brought out a sequel, $100 million leads, and that was the launch event. Now, during the, uh, the, the actual book, like he created the videos to go with it. And during those videos, there was a particularly interesting experience. And he was like, you know what? I'm just going to get up at 5 a.m., have a coffee and work until one, work until three. And then I'll start my meetings from there, three till six. This is a very interesting uh, comment for me, for me personally, because I have been trained very differently from this. And Alex was like, look, you could spend three hours doing other things, but the return on investment for him would be significantly less. And I get it. I get it. Now, over on the other side of the ring, we've got a very different morning routine. And this is by Garrett J. White. He was like, you know what? I need to be comprehensive in my life across four categories, looking after my body, looking after my being, my spirituality, my purpose. Why am I here? Looking after my balance, my my family, my spouse, and then looking after business as well. So over on one corner, we've got Alex starting at 5 a.m., coffee and go, just pure business. Now, Alex also ripped like he is a looks looks like he has some serious muscles and did uh, a whole bunch of gym work for a long time trains people in body transformation so he's dialed on body don't know when he trains but he didn't it doesn't seem to be in the morning maybe it's at night but body handled business clearly handled like he said he just went through the hundred million dollar mark in net worth or whatever. There was no parade. There was no sirens. There was no letter. Nothing happened. <laughs> that was pretty funny. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, cool. You don't get a, don't get a parade, but nonetheless, hundred million dollars in, in net worth. He's clearly knows what he is doing in the business realm. Married, no kids, no kids and no, well, no mention on spirituality, no mention on being. Over on the other corner, we've got Garrett. He's like, you know what? You've got to be comprehensive across all four. Once you throw into the mix kids, all of you doctors with kids will know just how challenging that is. Suddenly, the game becomes a whole lot more exciting with children to look after, not blowing it up. And while Alex can probably pull it off now with so many resources, just the ability to pull in nannies and pull in help and pull in lots of like, like it's just going to make the game a whole lot easier. But if you're starting from scratch and you've got kids and a partner, then suddenly the demands become significantly more. And that's where Garrett was like, you know what? In the morning, I want to handle my biz- my body. I want to handle my spirituality. I want to handle my balance and I want to handle my business. And us as doctors, to me, like I got into this game because I had kids and I was very strong in the being category. Like spirituality has been a very strong point of mine for a long, long, long time. Uh, at least uh, 18, 2005 was my first, oh, hang on, there's clearly something going on in the spiritual realm. Before that, I called it the zone or the flow. Very fascinated how to get into that place. And then spirituality opened up into that. So when Garrett's like, hey, you got to handle your being, you got to handle your body. And at the time, I'd let my body slip. I'd let it slip. And I was 41, 46 now. And what I don't get to see is what I would be like at this point. Probably a little bit more obese. Probably carrying a spare tire. Now, I, I do have some fat around me. Like, there's no doubt about it. I'm not in elite shape. But what would have happened? Ah, you know, that's a question. I see some of my friends now. It's like, hey, you guys are clearly carrying 
a fair bit of weight. So over on one side, we have a very aggressive um, behavior from 5 a.m. business. And you've got to rem- remember also the age. Alex, 32 or 33, something like that, that he has a different energy than Garrett at 47. Like the game at 47 is vastly different than it is at 33. So if you're younger, know that how you end up coming into your 40s, into your 50s will make a massive difference. I, when I'm treating patients who are under, under 40, I'm like, hey, start paying attention. Get your flexibility in point. Get your strength in point. Get your eating in habits in point. And they're like, why? Everything's fine. I'm like, get ready. It changes after 40. Now, I'm not that interested in making $100 million. If it happens, great, wonderful. But I am interested in being comprehensive. And therefore, I'm going to invest, even if there is no direct monetary return, into a morning routine that makes sure that all components of life are handled. And this has worked really well. Is there some downsides to it? Yeah, there is. Like, it takes a while. It takes like two hours. I invest two hours. Largely, a good chunk of that is a thing called the stack, where I'm working through emotions, working through the difficulties in my life, trying to sort out a decision, trying to have a have a discussion with uh, basically with God, let's call it God or whatever it is. Maybe it's just my imagination. I'm open to that, but uh, trying to work out how to how to do this life thing well, and that's been very, very, very powerful. Uh, and that's, I, I'm, so we'll see how it plays out. I mean, uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens for Alex. I mean, he's incredible, absolutely incredible. His understanding of business, his ability to leverage and accelerate through learning, uh, in terms of just, just a phenomenal human being, but has not got kids yet and is younger. So see, so if you're a doctor though, and you're like, you know what? Maybe there's something here. Maybe there's something to this morning routine and you may well have something that works. Does it have to be in the morning? No. Would I recommend doing it in the morning? Yes. Does it mean getting up early? Yes. But is it worth it? I think so. Like the documentation of my life so far is very, very good. Previous to this, it was not. I got like, I think it's been like something like coming over four years now daily. I missed one day where I didn't complete it in time and we jumped over the dateline and the software messed it up. But... Other than that, I've been doing the documentation of my life for like four years. And this is helpful. This is helpful for me. This is helpful for my kids. This is helpful for uh, looking back to go, oh, that's right. That's where I was. Because wherever you are right now is where you are. And it's going to feel like you've always been here. And the downside of that is forgetting how far you have come. I saw a video of myself from 28. It was hilarious. It was like, oh, wow, check that out. I really do look extremely young at that point. (laughs) I'm like, I'm 46 now. Like, I got a couple of gray hairs, you know, but that's the advantage of uh, a meditation form that I've been practicing for a long time as well. Turtle longevity, Qigong. Anyone doing turtle longevity, ah, what a form. I'd recommend the first form. It took a while to open up, but when I got it, I'm like, oh, this, this is meditation. All right, that's all I got for you. I'm uh, gonna go hang out with my kids. We got a great week ahead of uh, really bad snow, but great times. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, look forward to catching up with you during the week. See you soon.